Hi there traders, this is Steve Miley, the market chartist for FX Explained and our regular weekly macro watch update for the week commencing the 16th of May 2022. US inflation still running hot, but hint at stock averages basing. Let's kick it off by looking at those macroeconomic and geopolitical developments of the past week. Well, US CPI headline data the year on year rose 8.3%, falling from March's pace, but not as much as expected, with consensus around 8.1%. Jerome Powell again stated that a hike of 0.75% was not something that the Fed were actively considering, but was still a possibility. Possible easing of pandemic lockdowns in Shanghai, China brought some cheer to Chinese and Asian stocks last week, slightly easing global supply chain inflation worries. Now let's take a look at the global financial market developments for last week ending the 13th of May. Well, tech vulnerability seems to be easy. We did get another down week in here, so six straight down weeks for the Nasdaq, um, but a rebound late in the week has certainly eased bearish pressures. And European losses um, are less negative in here. Uh, we saw a strong rebound in European stock averages and certainly continue to outperform their US counterparts. US yields having pushed through 3% the prior week and managed to come back down below 3% for the 10 year and certainly easing immediate higher yield pressures. But the dollar stays strong and making new multi-year highs. Gold continued its push lower in here, significantly more bearish um, in the back of that gold, that US dollar strength. And oil managed to rebound and stay positive within a broader consolidation range. And despite copper going lower, we did get a rebound um, in the week and that does ease some of the vulnerability, but it does still look quite negative. Now let's take a look at the week ahead, commencing the 16th of May. Well, we're still closely monitoring the war in Ukraine as ever. And on the central bank side, we get the RBA meeting minutes Tuesday. Jerome Powell also speaks on Tuesday. And we get the PBOC, People's Bank of China, interest rate decision on Friday. On the data front, we get Chinese retail sales Monday. Those RBA meeting minutes Tuesday alongside the UK employment report, EU GDP, and probably the standout data of the week, the US retail sales data. And Jerome Powell also speaks. Wednesday brings UK and Canadian CPI. We get the Australian Employment Report on Thursday and that PBOC interest rate decision ends the week Friday. I'm going to wish you all a great trading week. Stay safe out there. I'll be back with you next week for another Macro Watch. So traders, don't forget to catch us on the next FX Explained Macro Watch and all the great content on fxexplained.co.uk.